Good. Thank you. I've been given the honor of presenting the Golden Globe Award for Best Director in Motion Pictures. The nominees are Alfonso Smith for Gravity, Al Gilday, New Ventry, The Chronicles of Gregory Hanmarsh, Volume 1, Paul Greengrass, Captain Phillips, Steve McQueen, Twelve Years a Slave, Alexander Payne, Nebraska, David O. Russ o. Russell, American Hustle, and the winner, <laughs> winner for Best Director for a Motion Picture, Al Gilday, New Venture, The Chronicles of Gregory Hanmark. <laughs> Thank you. I am completely blown away by this award, and I have to say it kind of looks like it was designed by Tiger Woods, but I'm, I'm happy to be here nonetheless, and I managed to put together, I'm sitting around the house today thinking of what I could possibly say if I was chosen as the winner, I came up with a list. <laughs> I'm only kidding. First, I would like to thank the Hollywood Forum Press for this great honor. As you know, the Hollywood Forum Press has been covering the, the American entertainment industry since it was first established in 1943. Today, the organization represents a combined readership of more than 250 million people and it plays an integral role in the success of any film. I would like to thank my manager, Tom Banks, my agent, Saul Rubenstein, from the agency Dewey Lickham and Howe, <laughs> and my family. Without their patience and acceptance of me not being home a great deal, the movie would never have been made. Seriously, to my fellow nominees, Paul, I love Captain Phillips and the Born Identity. <laughs> and David O, my man, Davey O, American Hustle, bow, chicka, bow, bow. <laughs> wow. And Silver Linings Playbook, one of my favorites from last year. I'm truly honored to be in the same room with you, let alone be nominated in the same category. I've learned so much from all of you. Titanic director James Cameron once said, Pick up a camera, shoot something, no matter how small, no matter how cheesy, no matter whether your friends or your sister is in it. Put your name on it as director, now you're a director. Everything after that, you're just negotiating your budget and your fee. And that's exactly how I got started. I directed shows at Cable 10 for Kojiko as something to do. <laughs> I directed The Psychic Hour. I dabbled a bit doing personal film projects here and there. Fast forward 15 years, I got a call that brought me here. I have a friend who's a seamstress. She asked me to drive her to a, uh, a production meeting for a movie she was working on in Toronto. It was the first time that I met Anita and Dave Monroe, and I was first introduced to the project. I met the cast and some of the crew that day, and I was told that I was going to be directing a portion of the film. I was terrified. I had never directed anything of this magnitude. But I read the script and I was hooked. Our production was not without its problems. We encountered heavy rains that blew part of our sets away. We had some bad Thai food that <laughs> caused production delays for a couple of days. There was an IATSE strike that closed down production for a couple more months. There was also an intern who managed to expose an entire week worth of film, which sets us back quite a bit. But these things happen when you're shooting a film in remote locations with a very small budget. Who would have thought that a script written 25 years ago about a group of vampires and drug addicts would, be, would become a major motion picture? <laughs> Thank you, Anita and David, for having faith in me. I humbly accept this award and dedicate it to every little boy or little girl out there who has ever picked up a camera or even a cell phone these days and filmed something. Because if you work hard, someday you might be up here just like me. Thank you.